from Gujarat in Madhya Pradesh, where uh, incessant rain is, of course, uh, creating havoc in many districts in both the states. IMD has issued red alert in some Madhya Pradesh districts and more rainfall is likely today. 15 gates of Ukai Dam uh, over Atapi River have been opened. Well, moderate rain is likely in many districts of Gujarat as well today. 16 trains have been cancelled in Gujarat. And also in the state, the water levels of the Narmada River has crossed the danger mark. Now, in a precautionary move, the administration in the Narmada district uh, has ordered the closure of schools and colleges for the day. And in the Baroch district, over 100 residents who were stranded in the low-lying areas amid the unrelenting downpours have been swiftly moved to safer locations. Well, three individuals were uh, airlifted to uh, safety from a village in Ujjain district. दक्षिण पश्चिम मध्य प्रदेश के कुछ जिले हैं जिसमें अलीराजपुर झाबुआ धार रतलाम मंदसौर यहाँ पे आज भी बेन है भी रेनफॉल माने 15 से 20 सेंटीमीटर तक बारिश दर्ज हो सकती है हालांकि इनको हमने कल की बारिश देखते हुए रेड अलर्ट भी रखा हुआ है साथ में बरवानी और धार और नीमच के में भारी वर्षा या एक का दूसरा जगह अति भारी वर्षा माने 11-12 सेंटीमीटर तक बारिश भी दर्ज हो सकती है क्योंकि प्रदेश के शेष हिस्सों में लगभग आज नो वार्निंग है बारिश की कोई विशेष गतिविधियां नहीं होंगी पिछले दो दिनों में अपस्टी में भारी बारिश की वजह से चार लाख से ज़्यादा पानी आ रहा है अपस्टीम को मैं जो इनफ्लो ध्यान में रख के उकाई डैम के पंद्रह गेट सात फीट खोल के वन लेख नाइन्टी एट थाउजेंड क्यूसेक पानी छोड़ा जा रहा है पानी छोड़ने की वजह से तापी के डाउन में गाँवों को अलर्ट किया गया है my colleague govind is joining us live on the broadcast from uh, madhya pradesh now govind the imd has issued red alert in some uh, districts of madhya pradesh and more rainfall is also likely today what is the situation yeah absolutely red alert was being issued continuously since the starting of this month september in fact uh, uh, because uh, there was the raining in more than two dozen districts of Madhya Pradesh and red alert was earlier uh, was in uh, 21 districts. In fact, uh, uh, now uh, the, the the good thing is uh, for Madhya Pradesh uh, regarding this continuous heavy rain that uh, the system has shifted uh, to the border area of Gujarat and Rajasthan. So now red, red alert is uh, only in four or five districts now re reduced from 22, 21 to five, uh, four to five. Uh, meteorological department has uh, shared the information that the system was continuous here in Madhya Pradesh for last uh, 15, uh, more than 15 days, uh, and many uh, districts were badly affected. Uh, uh, flood uh, situations been seen in many parts of Madhya Pradesh earlier, and since yesterday, uh, the system has diverted or shifted towards the border area of Rajasthan and uh, Gujarat. So that is what uh, is still the red alert in four and five districts in Madhya Pradesh, but. Disturbing pictures and the rescue operation pictures are continuously coming from many parts, specifically from Malwa and Nivar region. In fact, uh, uh, you know that in the province of uh, uh, Indor and uh, Ojen, uh, the, uh, continuously the pictures were coming where the rescue operations were being conducted. Uh, so this is what we can understand that uh, it was not raining a uh, whole month of August, but it started from the very first day of uh, September, which continue, uh, continued for last more than 15 days. But now the situation is under control. Rescue operations are uh, 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 completed in many parts of Madhya Pradesh. All right, uh, Govind, thank you for getting us the details there uh, from MP. Let me go across to my colleague Siddharth is joining us on the phone line uh, from Gujarat. Uh, well, uh, Siddharth, there is a moderate rainfall which is likely to take place in uh, many Gujarat districts today. Well, 16 trains is what we're getting to know have been cancelled in the state. Yeah, absolutely. So these 16 trains, most of these trains, they come down from Madhya Pradesh. Their route ends from Madhya Pradesh and through Madhya Pradesh, they enter, uh, enter the Gujarat area going towards Mumbai. So all these trains, especially due to what situation prevailing in uh, the rain-affected areas in Madhya Pradesh, as we know from past uh, three to four days, there has been incessant rains in all these areas. So that has uh, hampered the routes coming through Gujarat. So that is one of the concerns here. Second, the biggest point is, uh, especially the Sardar Sarovar dams water. Uh, due to a uh, huge amount of uh, heavy rainfall in Madhya Pradesh, the water was kept uh, kept stored for a few uh, more days and the water has been released. So due to the release of that water, all the low-line areas have 
are affected very badly in remote areas, especially in the tribal areas where where it is very difficult uh, for uh, each and every, anyone to go and reach over there. So that is a very big problem now. But uh, luckily, what has happened is from past seven to eight hours, rain has uh, the rain the rainwater has stopped now. So, so the thunder gods are showing a bit of mercy. So that is giving extra bit of time for the authorities and for the people over there uh, to rehabilitate themselves. So that is the situation. But in the next two days, it is said that the lower uh, uh, the, the lower pressure belt, which was created in Madhya Pradesh, will be shifting down to uh, Gujarat and in the some parts right. of Rajasthan. So. So North Gujarat and Central Gujarat are on alert, will be on alert from uh, coming two days now. All right, so Siddharth, thank you for bringing us updates from Gujarat. And now we shift our focus uh, to uh, Himachal Pradesh, where...